if you're here for my on, wife... I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my way. Rebellion. Rebellion.
you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep track of Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Let me know Expelliarmus. Incendium. Accio. Expelliarmus. Still at it. Let me know so. Incendium. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Spare a moment? I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Surely you're joking. You can't possibly be afraid of a puff scheme. It may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat bogeys, you know. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing.
Revelio. Revelio. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Incendio! Lumos. Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Incendio Lumos Revelio Accio Lumos Revelio Lumos Revelio Lumos Lumos Incendio Seems the devil's snare was protecting the chest of some kind. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio! Lumos! Incendio!
Revelio. Revelio. said that travel broadens the mind. Try working with it. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Now. 
Have you found anything to, uh, prove my- Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puffskin Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puffskin Dunking for me. Revelio. Lumos. Akio. Levioso. Incendio. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Scrope? Who is Scrope? Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Levioso. I think 
gonna just the place. I've always said that travel. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Revelio. Down to the water's edge. Is it better not be a trick? Incendio. Expelliant. Revelio. Revelio. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Continue. Oh, Scrope does not intend to undermine the headmaster. In fact, Scrope wants to surprise him. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. 
Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honour her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black family crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Revelio. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages and the ring. What was it you needed me to do, Scrope? Scrope would never presume to need anything from a student. <laughs> Scrope simply thought that you might find the pages you seek in Apollonia's grotto. And that if you were to go there, you might also find the Black Family Ring. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope, take this toast to the grotto. Good luck. <laughs> Lumos. Revelio. Lumos.
Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Revelio, Lumos. Could it be a visitor? Oh, ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student just like you about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And... You see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Rebellion. Hmm. 
a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Accio. Lumos. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Revelio. Levioso. Accio.
Revelio. This looks Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio.
Lumos. Rebellio. Lumos. Rebellio. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Find anything yet? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Peas was in a mood the other day. Revelio.
sure why she'd fuss so much. It was only one. Revelio. I never fold down a corner in a book. It'd make a fuss too. So many old books in the library. Let me know. Revelio. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Revelio. What are you up to now? Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos.
Revelio. Incendio! Rebellion! I got you. Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. If it were taught by the mentor. Incendio. Revelio. I'm just saying, you'd think she was the pioneer of wizarding. Lumos. Revelio. I certainly make sure I stay abreast of my homework. Teachers don't like it if you fall behind, especially Weasley. I just wish they'd hurry up and assign the essay on werewolves. When are we getting to that? Professor Sharp terrifies me. He glanced sideways at me last week and I almost dropped an entire flobber worm into my cauldron. I'd never have a harsh word to say about Hogwarts. Dalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? 
Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, oh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving. Lead me. Revelio. I've always said that travel. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Nelly knows what it means. Off on another adventure, are we? Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Slytherin house chest. Professor Howell is carrying Rebellion.
This must be my house chest. I just need to insert the tug. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Rebellion. Vernon certainly employs great teaching. Rebellion. Let's play someone as court. I knew you'd come round. Ready to go? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Summon as court. The ever-changing game. Akio. That was one for the ages. Akio. Try to beat that. Lucky shot. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. I'll let you have that one. 
Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Leander, there's no easy way to say this. Well, actually, there is. You're not cut out for it. Well, you could have found a harder way to say it. <laughs> but perhaps you're right. I'll let the others know you're good enough for them. Nice to see you, my young friend. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Where do you find time for this and your homework? I've plenty of time for both. Been managing for years. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So. The reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework, get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywig things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find.
This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Repair it. Lumos. That seems to have done the trick. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Protego. Revelio. Castle will never cease to surprise me. Revelio Lumos Revelio. Incendio. Lumos. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Revelio. Incendio. Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Lumos, Revelio. Going to have to get past this. Levioso. Revelio.
Revelio. Leviosa. Repairer. Revelio. Repairer. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Levioso. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Accio! Levioso! Aha! Got it. This must be the way out. Revelio. Levioso. I need to find a way to open that gate. Revelio. Revelio. Incendio. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey dukes. Revelio Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio Honey Jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth?
Lumos. I have the dried billywigs things. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Getting them was more work than I expected. I'd like to be paid for my time. Of course. Didn't think it would be that much trouble, but I'm happy to pay for your help. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Lumos. I really have made a mess. Incendio. Of Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. 
I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. Revelio! Akio! This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Revelio. Akio. Revelio. Akio. Revelio. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Lumos. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Lumos. <laughs> <laughs> 